You might recall that a few months back, we were talking about Brian Johnson, a founder of a biotech company who aims to have for as long as possible the body of an 18 year old. He apparently spends several million dollars a year on a complicated health regimen of supplements and exercises and tests and meals and all that stuff. But now he's back with a new advancement in his quest to be forever young. He's actually involving his child because, and I mean that literally, he is taking blood from his 17 year old son. They would probably say that the son is giving the blood. It's not like by force, but you can see there what they're calling a multi generational plasma exchange. Because I believe they're also, yes, they're giving Johnson's blood to his 70 year old father. So it's a three generation blood transfer. So in this process, there was a liter of blood removed, about one fifth of the blood in the entire body. That seems like too much blood. That was actually a subplot of an episode of Married with Children. But apparently it was supervised and now the younger blood is coursing through the veins of the older person. They're gonna have to soon have a younger sibling so that the 17 year old has someone to take blood from. But they think that this is going to tie them together and help them to maintain the youth that they want. Sabrina, what do you think? That's why the rich people have so many children, so that way they can take their blood. Duh. <laughs> Elon Musk is never gonna die. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but this is this is just gross and and kind of icky. Like it's completely unnecessary. Um, unless one of them was like dying or something and needed a transfusion. But this is this is just weird. This is weird. And gross, and also like they all have to have like healthy blood. Um, uh, I don't been know. Screened and stuff. So they were? look, Devil's hey. Advocate. Um, okay. Almost okay. Scientific Devil's Advocate. Uh, studies in rodents have shown that older mice that share blood and organs with their younger counterparts may experience a reverse aging effect. Though the studies are also controversial. There's no evidence yet that that works in humans, by the way, and there could be negatives to it. You know, any sort of sharing in this way can that the body can react to in a negative way. Um, but anyway, uh, we also find out from Bloomberg that he apparently visited a wellness clinic in the Dallas area several times to receive blood plasma from a young anonymous donor. Um, and there were gift cards given as compensation <laughs> for it. So look, if it's consensual, if they probably have very well trained and well paid doctors supervising it, I don't have much of a problem with it. It does seem like, is it necessary though? Like all this time spent trying to stay young is theoretically using up the time that you'd gain by being younger. Maybe just live and accept that life changes over time, your body changes over time, and not all of that is actually a negative thing. Any final thoughts? I'm just, I'm baffled that that donor was getting paid in $100 gift cards. That's that's so it's little. Something. What? That, it's something. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. something. But these are just, this is like a modern day vampire, genuinely. Vampires are real folks, and they, they pay $100 gift cards. Um, I'm going to close with this. Uh, I will say, while Brian Johnson, the biotech founder, is free to do whatever he wants, I will say that since we live in an environment where several million, at least, Americans believe that the wealthy are harvesting the brain hormones from young people, the adrenochrome, do you realize how much you're playing into that right now? When you're going around the country harvesting the blood of the young? This is gonna be QAnon stuff in like 15 minutes. So just understand the political implications of your quest for uh, forever youth. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.